Battle of Bennington was a battle of the American Revolutionary War taking place on August 16, 1777 Caesar, Caesar, Caesar. in Wallace, in Wallace, Mark, New York. How do you like buses? I don't know. I get it now. About 10 miles away from its namesake, Bennington, Berman. An American force of 2,000 New Hampshire and Massachusetts militiamen led by General John Stark with aid from Colonel Seth Warner along with elements of Vermont Green Mountain Boys defeated a combined force of 1,250 dismounted bronze Whig Dragoons Canadians Loyalists and Native American led by Lieutenant Colonel Frederick Frederick how do you say that yeah Bomb that British General John Burgoyne was attending Someone needs to, be able to, look at to a push pack. Who's that? through the northern Hilton River Valley, and that was it. Ready? Fire! Buenas noches, Don David, ¿cómo le va? Buenas noches, Doña Marta, es un placer. Go! Fine! Don't push it, it was my turn to push it. No, it was my turn. No, it was Battle. On the afternoon of August 16, 1777, the weather cleared and Stark ordered his men ready to attack. Stark is reputed to have rallied his troops by saying, There are your enemies, the red coats and the Tories. There are ours. Oh, this night Molly Stark sleeps a window. Yes, I know I'm looking at the paper. Gosh, dang it. It's not my fault. Abraham. What the hell, duh? Upon <laughs> hearing that the militia had melted away into the woods, Bomb assumed that the Americans were retreating. I heard you were ready for this thing. <laughs> 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 Redeploying, however, Stark had. I have to change the page now. Recognized that Bomb's forces were spread thin and decided immediately to envelop them from two sides while simu simultaneously charging Bomb's central redoubt head on. To the Loyalists and Native Americans fled. This left Bomb and his Brunswick dragoons trapped along the high ground. The Germans fought valiantly even after running low on powder, the dragoons led a savory charge and tried to break through the enveloping forces. However, after this final charge failed and Bomb was mortally <coughs> wounded, the Germans sur surrendered. Shortly after this battle ended, while the New Ham Hampshire militia were disarming the German troops, Bomb's reinforcements arrived. The German reinforcements under the command of Lieutenant <laughs> Colonel Heinrich von Bremen saw the Americans in disarray and pressed their attack immediately. After hastily regrouping, Stark's forces <laughs> tried to hold their ground against the German onslaught. Before the lines collapsed, hey, several hundred Vermont militiamen arrived to reinforce Stark's troops. The Green Mountain Don't Boys, commanded by head. Seth Warner, <laughs> had been defeated at the Battle of Harbour Dorton by British reinforcements and were eager to expect, ex exact their revenge on the enemy. Where's Abraham? Hey, B, where are you? Hey, B! I'm right here! I still can't see him! Where is he? I'm right here! Oh, 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 up? Up, here? Up, Holy yeah. crud! You really have to kneel down to see that little sucker! Okay, do your job. <laughs> Results of the Battle of Bennington. Total German and British losses at Bennington were recorded at 207 friend, dead friend, and 700 friend, captured. Friend, friend, American friend, losses friend, included amigo, 40 amigo, Americans amigo, dead amigo, and 30 amigo, wounded. Stark's decision to intercept and Abraham, destroy the raiding party Abraham, before Abraham, they could Abraham. reach. What? Hi. <laughs> before they could reach, Bennington was a crucial factor <laughs> in Burgoyne's eventual surrender because it deprived his army of supplies. <laughs> Continuation of the Battle of Benetton results. The 
American victory at Bennington also galvanized the rebels and was a catalyst for French involvement in the war. My voice is going away, so don't make fun of me. So. <laughs> Peanut head. Hey, my dude. August is seen as a legal holiday in Vermont, known as Bennington Battle Day. What a dumbo! The battle is further co commemorated by the 306-foot-tall Bennington Battle Monument in Old Bennington! Oh, yeah.